eh, un, um, un rosquete para aplanar masa, una cucharita y un tenedor. Bueno, ya. Después, las tacitas. Tengo esta tacita, esta tacita y esta tacita pues, eh, como sucia. Huevos. Priest was telling a Bible story when he's interrupted by a demon. In Roots of Orthodoxy, while Father John was telling the story of the prodigy son, something interrupts him. Hmm, where is that coming from? Maybe it's woodpeckers. It's either that or the demons. They love to interrupt. And you know what demons really hate? Is that when you laugh at them. And you don't take them seriously. And you just say, oh, it's just you. It's, it's just you, Goofy, trying to interrupt the telling of uh, one of the greatest stories and parables ever told. Loud banging sounds can be heard somewhere in the church. Maybe I'll chase off the demons. So he investigates. Be right back. Hey, you guys! Hey! Hey! Be gone! <laughs> be gone! The banging sounds seem to be coming from a small room in the church. And don't disturb us anymore! As Father John doesn't play along, he goes back inside. All right. The peace of the Lord. Was the demon trying to interrupt the message? What do you think? Yeah, like, like that. Yeah, that's fine. Hello? Uh. Whoa! What the hell? Oh shit. Uh. Uh. What's that? Uh. What the? Uh. Come on, come on. Okay, so I was in my room, I just heard a loud ass bang, and I know I have to record this so someone... Okay, so I've been f***ing hearing noises again. F***. And I don't know what the f*** is going on. I'm gonna turn some f*** 
Turn lights on because people tell me I need to do that shit, so I'm going to. I don't know, it's just. What the f? So I'm going to have to get my sister over here a lot sooner. Um, I've done research on the house. It's not old. No one's died here. So I don't know if this thing is a demon or a poltergeist. I don't know what the f*** this is. I'll try and keep you guys updated. But I'm going to be staying at a friend's house. So you probably won't hear from me for a couple days. So yeah. Jared King's dad has recently been in the hospital. His mom was in a bed beside him. She started hearing noises and kept feeling very cold along with strange movement in her bed. She told him about it and being interested in the paranormal decided to take a few pictures. She took a few. One caught this face looking at us. Picture was taken at Willard Library. They noticed a ghostly gray boy in the lower right corner of the picture. If you ain't here, can you turn the water on? Can you turn it off? What the fuck? The water turned it on and off, bro. Can you cut back on? Oh my fucking god. Okay, turn it off. Can you turn it off? Oh my god. The water turned on and off by itself. What the fuck? Can somebody explain this shit? Can you tell me your name? Does that mean yes? Or no? Turn the water on for yes. Don't turn it on for no. Montemayor's brother sent me this picture from a, a screenshot of his security camera. He can't explain it. And it, he even looked at a couple minutes prior to the shots. And everything is normal except for the 5.55 a.m. mark. Mrs. Johansson posted this photo of what is believed to be the white lady, taken at the Peoria Asylum in Bartonville, Illinois who uploaded a disturbing video of a group of friends who went camping deep into the woods in an unknown location somewhere in Mexico. After setting up camp and settling down for the night, they begin to hear strange noises and they all get the feeling that something is lingering nearby watching them. The next morning they wake up only to discover that some of their belongings have gone missing along with a trail of footprints. Luckily, one of the members of the group had been using a drone to keep track of the surrounding area. Equipped with thermal vision, the drone was able to locate the thief, who had been following them in the depths of the woods at night. The person eventually stopped moving, and when the camera switched visions and zoomed in to identify the individual, the campers were left in complete shock to see a deer looking directly at the camera in the exact spot the person was seen just mere seconds ago. Shortly after they hear someone crying out for help coming from their campsite. Once again the thermal vision of the drone pinpoints the heat signature which seems to be the source of the sounds. As they get closer 
One of the campers begins cutting at the bushes and seems to go straight over the heat signature, not noticing anything, as if nothing is there. After explaining the story to some of the locals, they said that this is how the spirits get people lost in the woods and claim their lives, and others say this is a skinwalker. Either way, I'm curious to hear your thoughts down below. He was camping alone when he hears this. An experienced camper named Daniel was camping in the woods one day. He ventured down the woodland trail deep into the woods and eventually chose a spot to set up camp. He settles and starts to prepare a meal when this happens. We're going to be out Friday night, but I'm going away Saturday, so I've got a bit of a drive as well. So I didn't want to be tired and it's going to throw it down Friday night as well. And rain camping is really good. A badger. Hello? I hope I got that on camera. I really hope I did. Because if I didn't, and I'm showing this, people won't believe that. Just my heart's beating a bit quicker there. I'll just give you a full circle round of what I'm looking at. Now, apart from them in the distance playing whatever they're doing, whatever sport they're doing, football or something, I've just heard like some or someone walked literally past me. And I mean literally walked past me. Just like with the girl camping alone, Daniel hears footsteps approaching closely, but is unable to see anyone around. Nonetheless, he decides to stay and continue preparing his meal, but it only gets more creepy from here onwards. There's that noise again now. Hello? Hello? You got a bit of that. There's nobody here. And it sounds like something's just walking around. Can handle it won't can you wear it? After hearing more footsteps, he starts to grow increasingly wary of his surroundings. He gets up and surveys the area, but just like before, he sees nothing and appears to be alone out in the woods, although he's starting to feel as if something is there with him. Despite that, he continues with his camp, finishing his meal, and even starts sleeping in his sleeping bag at night. But in the dark, things are a lot more terrifying. <clears throat> I'm going to be honest. I can't stay here now. I want to be a wimp. I don't care if people call me a wimp in the comments. But I can't stay here. I'm, I'm too unsettled. I'm nervous. 
I've done camping like this load of times. I think I'm gonna go find somewhere else to get this bivvy set up. But I, I'm leaving this spot. Like now. So I packed my stuff away and already I'm regretting it. <laughs> I'm regretting packing away. But I just keep doing it. I've got one side of me telling me to stop being stupid. It's an animal, it's animals. And I've got other side saying, well, didn't sound like that earlier. Feeling too unsettled, Daniel decides to leave this campsite without hesitation, as he is not sure what may be lurking nearby, waiting for him to fall asleep. 